Vampire Academy. Uh, we're talking about the fact your taste of blood in this one. Uh, tell us about it. It's based on the best-selling novel. There's a great series behind it, uh, but set this one up for us. Uh, Vampire Academy is about two girls. They're right there, and uh, they play best friends, and they come back to St. Vlad's, and they uh, have to team up together to fight something evil in the school that's coming after them. And I really love this film because it's really um, a female empowerment uh, theme, and it's not a damsel in distress type of film at all. It has some real bite, pun intended. <laughs> well, you, you got a new look in this movie. We're looking at the uh, the curly locks, the glass glasses and uh, the vampire theme is very prevalent. We've seen it with uh, Twilight, Buffy the Vampire, Slayer, Interview with the Vampire. This genre is not going away. What do you think is the big allure behind a movie like this? I think people are very uh, attracted to uh, vampires. They're mesmerized by them. There's this eternal life behind it and I think that's very uh, tempting to people. Um, usually uh, vampires are very seductive and sensual um, and we have a few, vamp a few vampires in, in Vampire Academy that are like that but I, uh, the character that I play Natalie is um, a very nerdy vampire. I think it's one of the uh, only times that a, a vampire is very nerdy. Very, very nerdy. <laughs> well, you know, this is a great branch out for you because we've been following you for five seasons of Modern Family, and you're what, like in your mid 20s now, and having this amount of success at such a young age, the big question I have outside looking in is who keeps you grounded and uh, keeps you uh, keeps you focused on uh, the prize at hand. Um, my, my friends. Um, I, I don't know. I've always been very uh, work-driven. I have a, a strong work ethic, and uh, I, I love acting. So it's my biggest passion, and it's not work if you really if you love it. So um, I, I don't know. I just I love work, and I'd rather go to set and film or read a script than and then go out and drink or something. <laughs> Not a girl. You could teach us Canadians a thing or two if you know what's going on in pop culture. But uh, Modern Family, it's a hit show here on City. Uh, we love to see the dynamic you have created for the past five years. Who would you say is the ultimate mentor for you on set of uh, this popular show? Oh, wow. Um, we're all so very close. Um, as a family, but you, you know, the okay? people that I do spend the most time with are the Dunphys. So, um, Ty Burrell and Julie Bowen, I'm very, very close with. And, uh, you know, I feel like I go, if I ever have a problem, I know I can go to Julie in a, in a heartbeat because she's like a big sister slash second mom to me. So, um, I, I'd, I'd probably say Julie Bowen if a gun was held up to my head, Julie Bowen. But I know that if I had a problem with anything, I could go up to any single member of Modern Family's cast. and they would help me out. Well, Family Matters, you got a great cast to have your back. Listen, uh, congrats on Vampire Academy. It's out mid-February. Sarah, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. Sorry for the technical issues. <laughs> it happens. Live TV. Thanks, Sarah. So sweet. It's not her fault.